In the past months, we've so, seen so many gun attacks in places like nursing homes and schools, uh, in churches. No wonder so many Americans, including pastors and students, are talking about getting guns so they can defend themselves. Nine million new guns over the 250 million in America already. So it started us asking questions, along with the police, about real people trying to use guns in real crisis situations. Uh, we also return to a topic close to my heart, the fact that every other day a child in America is accidentally injured by a gun. So let's begin there with some little children I started following 10 years ago who were taught never to pick up guns, or so their parents thought. We saw it 10 years ago in our first investigation. Can you really keep little kids from playing with guns? Shoot me! Parents were stunned seeing their children find guns in a playroom. Wow! A gun! Oh, this is a big heavy gun. Get the shoot me. Bam! A 10-year-old, Brandon, described what really happened at a friend's house. He had his friend's gun behind his door, and his mom and dad didn't know about it. And he took it out behind it, and he was pointing it around the room, and he was starting to get it towards me, and I ducked. Brandon's father watched that tape. You know, that, that clip right there gives you a jar. First time I've heard about it. And what about today? Parents who think their guns are hidden from their children or who don't know the kids are playing at the neighbors with guns, maybe today. I've touched many guns um, um, from my, it, they're all from my friend Eric. And when his dad got back, he didn't really know. So, and we made sure of that because we didn't really want to get in trouble. I didn't realize that so many people did own guns. And I think for me, it's gonna be a very important question. Those were the younger children. But in 2009, what about teens? Hopefully it's loaded. Well, we're going to make sure the safe's on. It probably isn't. Want to go ask them? David Muir shows students cocking the guns they find in drawers, staring down the barrel, having no idea if it's loaded. I got a flashlight. Oh, yeah, something in there. And with the police, I try to tackle another question. In these most violent two months of mass shootings in American history, so many new people signing up to get guns. If you don't have crisis training, what are the odds you can protect yourself? At Muhlenberg College in Pennsylvania, we sent out word that police were offering free gun training. From the interested students, we chose six, some with lots of experience, some with play sports like airsoft guns. This gun, by the way, is real. It's a Glock, but the bullets are not. They're a kind of plastic filled with a kind of paint. Okay, good. A holster. First up, Joey Dolan, who loves action movies and has spent countless hours firing that gun that shoots plastic pellets called an airsoft gun. He thinks he'll be good at deploying a real weapon. Okay, you're the only person in the group that has a weapon. We tell Joey that he has the gun to defend himself and others, but later in the day... He has no idea what will happen in this lecture class on protective gear, nor that there are hidden cameras in the lecture hall. We notice he's nervous. He can't seem to keep his hand off the gun. He also doesn't know that these other students around him are in fact cops or people working for ABC who will replicate the chaos of real people in real crises. The lecture begins. So what I want you to do here, real fast, is just turn your head to the left. Make sure you can move it. Told you I'd be back. Suddenly the room is under attack. The instructor is down. A student hit. Joey struggles to get his gun out, but it's stuck in his shirt. He can't even get it out to aim it. Stop, Axel, stop, Axel. Had this event been real, Joey would have been killed in the first five seconds. Or there's a chance the bad guy would simply have taken his gun from him. That was the first shot, uh -huh. and then the second shot was right in the chest. Joey says his endless hours of practice with an airsoft gun meant absolutely nothing. Honestly, like with my airsoft gun, I can shoot the target every time, dead on, but this is just completely different. When police show me a video used with real police trainees, you have just arrived at an unknown trouble call. My task is to watch the policewoman, who's my virtual partner, check out a suspicious car and react if there's a need for self-defense.
The first time, I don't get near the gun, but here on the second time, even when I know what's going to happen, I'm two seconds slower than I need to be. The interesting thing is, even the second time around, yeah. knowing exactly knew what was the happen. timing of everything, you still can't get there in time. Police will show how you have to retrain your body and your brain to wield a gun in a crisis. While student after student on our test teaches lessons about what you think about guns and self-defense and the real chance you'll defend yourself or maybe hurt a friend. Don't put yourself in a situation unless you are truly, confidently prepared for it because without training, you lose it. <laughs>